what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, I'll let your boy when we get home. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Help Blaze, at thehelpblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, I will go live and kind of talk about this in, in the entire card. So um, let's talk about Sean Porter versus Sebastian Formella for a minute. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And um, most people are probably going to sugarcoat coat the shit. I'm not. Sean Porter is... <laughs> Sean Porter is a dude that fight up and down to his level of opposition. We seen that last night. He limited, and he kind of man. We, I was talking to uh, Lion Killer yesterday on the phone. We were watching the fight, and you know Sean Porter got like he a technical mess. You know what I'm saying? Like Sean Porter get by on athleticism. You know what I'm saying? He right up there with Roley and, and Deontay Wilder as far as not really having no technique and getting by 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 athleticism. If you just watch Sean Porter feet. You know what I'm saying? He rarely sets the throw. It was one time in that fight, he set his feet and he threw a powerful like uppercut or like left hook to uh, Sebastian uh, Formella's rib cage, and that's the one time he sat down his shots. Sean Sean don't sit down on his shots, and Sean feet is all over the place. And Formella was was touching him. Had Formella knew how to punch and punch through the target, Formella probably would have knocked out Porter. Porter get in there with a dude that know how to box, and I see why Kell Brook beat him. And know how to box and be a surgeon. Sean Porter be in a lot of trouble. You know what I'm saying? But watching this fight, uh, Formella came out there. He would look a little bit nervous. Sean Porter landed some good punches on Formella early. He took him. He balled up a little. But when Sean Porter was opening up, Formella was touching, had his eyes puffy. So he cut his eye, I think. He got, gave him a minor cut in the middle of that fight. And he was touching Sean. You know what I'm saying? And Sean was just, you know, strong enough to absorb that punishment and still deliver the blow. Excuse me. You know, and it was a lot of times in that fight where Formella was catching him flush. And it was some times in that fight where Formella, Formella, had he turned his shots over or he knew how to punch or he knew how to punch in combination and put three or four shots together, he could have stopped Sean Porter. A real, a real boxer mover is going to stop Sean Porter. He lead in with his head too much. He lead in with these wide hooks and these overhand rights and all that stuff. A, a, a Pavekin uppercut can put him off the game. A basic one, too, can take him off the game. You know what I'm saying? People complicate fighting Sean Porter. Just do what uh, Kell Brook did. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? And Keith Thurman should have stopped Sean Porter, to be honest, if he threw straight punches. Just Keith Thurman wanted to get his hook there before Sean Porter hook got there. And it worked for him some, but Sean Porter is just terrible, bro. I'm just looking at him last night. Like, he, he got so much athletic ability, hand speed. He getting bobbed just by off of hand speed, foot speed, athleticism, strong kid. You know what I'm saying? But technically, he don't know how to deliver a punch. Um, he don't know how to set his feet. He don't, man, it's a lot of things in there. He, he leave wide openings. You know, anybody that know how to box should, should, that should, should clip him. And they got some power. Anybody that use straight punches and know how to control distance will beat Sean Porter easy. And now I'm seeing why Kell Brook beat him. Kell Brook beat him. It wasn't a fluke. Excuse me. It wasn't a fluke. Sean, Sean Kell Brook just, just kept it simple. Every time Sean Porter opened up, Kell Brook would just tap him, touch him, bop, bop. And every now and again, he'd throw a left hook or uppercut in there. And Formella, Formella was in there touching Sean Porter, bro. Like, you supposed to get a guy out like that out of there. He supposed to get him up out of there. And this dude had Sean eyes all puffy. And Sean was trying his hardest to get him out of there. But Sean just punching while he moved. It was sometime he was jumping off his feet and punching. Who do you think he is? Ryu or Ken? I remember T.F.M. Lopez did that in one of his early fights. He jumped off the floor and punched. You know, but, you know, last night, nobody going to talk about that. Everybody talk about, oh, who Crawford fight next? Crawford opponent is going to be better than Formella. You know what I'm saying? And then you come out there and you 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 didn't steamroll this guy. This guy went 12. You couldn't finish this type of opponent off. This should let you know how good Earl Spence and, and those PBC welterweights really are. They're not that good. They just look good because they're fighting each other. And they names. They've been around so long. They should be some type of names. But <laughs> Sean Porter need a new trainer. Real talk, Sean Porter need a new trainer. Sean Porter should be way more powerful than what he is. 
You know what I'm saying? Sean Porter should be a better puncher, better defensively, better technically. He just jumping in and welding in with shots. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that got some length and some height, they're going to put Sean Porter lights out. You know what I'm saying? Errol Spence can't box. He don't have those boxing skills. He more of a he more of an aggressive fighter. Like, like somebody like Crawford to put that motherfucking power out. If they weren't friends and they was enemies and he went, man, somebody like Crawford put him to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Somebody with some height, a little bit of height and a little bit of reach, putting that putting that joker down, he getting euthanized. You know, I see why he don't want to move up and fight the Jamels and got, they would put him to sleep. They will put that kid to sleep. Anybody that can see them open this, man, he just getting tagged. Religiously. Boom. Boom. You know what I'm saying? This dude just didn't know how to punch. He getting tagged. And, and this is who y'all said somebody like Bud is ducking? Sean Porter don't have no tech. Sean Porter out there just an in-shape street fighter. I'm sorry to say it. He ain't got no skills, bro, for real. He ain't got the skills that he need, bro. He can be probably one of the better welterweights, but his daddy holding him back. You know what I'm saying? His daddy straight holding him back. You know, his daddy don't see enough where he can bring somebody else in and teach them what they lacking or bring a liaison in like other fighters do what, what they lacking. He gonna, he just want to take credit. He want to take credit in, for the downfall of his son. And at some point, the right opponent going to put Sean Porter to sleep the way he fighting. The way he jump in with his head first and he jump in with them overhand hooks. All somebody got to do is just time him. And for Mella can time him, a lot of other guys, you know, out there can time him as well. If I Sean Porter, I wouldn't move up neither. At all. Period. <laughs> I wouldn't move up and fight nobody. Shit, man. You know, he need to bring somebody. Mike Tyson would be a great trainer for, for, for Sean Porter. You know what I'm saying? Kenny just got him all messed up. And they was talking about how Kenny took taking 57% of his purse. Are you serious? 57% of your son's purse? And that's before, you know, promotional fees, Al Heyman tenor, 13% come out. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the facade is, or the imagine the, they with the paint the picture they wanted you to imagine is that Kenny and Sean got a great working relationship. No nah, man. They said that <coughs> Kenny Porter stopped his other son, Kenny Porter Jr., from fighting. Contractually, he made them sign contracts, and allegedly, he made them, you know, he controlled their careers. And it's a shame. You know what I'm saying? Somebody told me that last night, and that Sean wasn't happy about it, but he just put up with it because he don't want to be shelved. You know, that just lets you know the type of person he is. I would never do that to nobody, especially not my own son. Now, if it's a situation where he's taking that money and he's taking 30% and he's putting it up for Sean Porter and he's saving it for Sean, so Sean, after his career, can have something to hold on to, then I apologize. But that ain't the case. I don't believe. You know, so he said, he told us, he said, his Sean, I think on Showtime, he said, my son got a lifetime contract with me. And that's sad. That's just let you know what type of dude that dude is. Shiesty. That's just shiesty as hell. You're taking 60% of your son money. And this who y'all, and this is, and this, and if, come on. And then you, you ain't even worth 60% as a coach. You know what I'm saying? Like, like your son missing a lot of the basic fundamentals. I ain't the smartest motherfucker in the world, but your son can't punch because he don't know how to punch and set his feet. He squaring up versus Formella straight up. Half Formella knew how to deal with that man. That man, psh, you put him in there with a Bud. You put him in there with a Jamel. You put him in there with somebody. Man, he gonna get told the to fuck up. I think if you put him in there with Josh Taylor, Josh Taylor tear him out the motherfucker frame. He would tear him out the frame. De La Hoya would have fun with Sean Porter, and show with Trinidad. I would pick Trinidad to stop him. You know what I'm saying? Floyd Mayweather, he just square No, He wow. Wow, man. Feet all over the place. He punching while he moving, jumping while he punching. You know what I'm saying? Getting that white boy was tagging. Had that white boy had some power, he could have got the stoppage. Had he had that Joe Smith Jr. last night, he got the stoppage. 
But, hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys thought about the fight. I'll go live and talk about it a little bit later. I'm trying to go on before the night. I'm going to try to get it in in the afternoon of my slate is clear. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Sean Porter did win a unanimous decision. Pretty much won all the rounds, but couldn't put the dude away. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you got business questions, inquiry, response, share, video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Appreciate the love, support. Want to make a donation? Cash App, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Mr. Cash App username. That's in the uh, description as well. Want to make a donation to the channel? Uh, best way to do that is share the video. Appreciate the love, support. Check out Fight Reaction for more playlists, for more videos like this on the playlist. One time for the one time. Goodfellow Sports TV. We're